Good morning everyone. I Priya, science teacher in Holy Cross Texas School Bagbu, welcome you all again on our YouTube channel. Today I am going to share my views on an important topic and the topic is how to do MSc Biochemistry and how you can take the admission in that particular course. Nowadays the demand of this course is increasing a lot. A lot of students are opting this subject for their career. Why? Because as its name suggests, it is the combination of biology and chemistry, two subjects together in one degree. So let me tell you what the MSc Biochemistry is. MSc Biochemistry is the fusion of biology and chemistry. It is basically the study of chemical processes that is chemical reactions that take place for your growth, heredity, metabolism, productivity etc. in the body of living organisms. As its name suggests, biology exists there. Biology means we are going to study about human body, different different processes which are going to take place in our body. And chemistry is related to the reactions. Whatever reactions are taking place in our body that we study in this biochemistry subject. So there is question arises what is the purpose of this MSc biochemistry degree? The main purpose of this degree is to provide students the conceptual knowledge of biochemistry. Conceptual knowledge of biochemistry is very important because in biochemistry we are going to study whole things. We are going to study about the medicines, we are going to study about drugs, everything we are going to know. So that's why this field is very important. Now we will discuss about the eligibility criteria. First and foremost thing is that you have to do your 12th with PCV that is physics, chemistry, biology should be your main subject whenever you are going to pursue your 12th class. After that when you are going to do your graduation, your graduation that is your BSc should be in life sciences with subjects like botany, geology and chemistry. Actually biology is important that's why botany and geology both subjects are important and chemistry is also there because as its name biochemistry. Next is the candidate needs to have secured a minimum of 45% in their graduation. Minimum 45% should be there in your BSc and for different categories there are different different marks. Candidates with the age of 21 and above are eligible to apply and sit for the admission process. Why the age is 21? Because after 17 or 18 you are going to pursue your graduation. For 3 years you will pursue your graduation. After that only you are going to take admission in MSc. That's why it is written that 21 and more than that this particular age you can take admission in this course. Now the fee structure. Around rupees 1 lakh for one year which means 2 lakh for the entire course because this course is for two years. For two years you have to invest 2 lakh rupees and for different different uni universities little bit amount can be increased but for one year around 1 lakh you have to invest and for two years 2 lakhs you are going to invest and after investing this money you are going to get the degree of MSc Biochemistry. Now next thing is what is the admission process of this course? Candidates who wish to get admission in MSc Biochemistry course in India can get it by entrance test and merit list. By two things you can get admission in this course. One directly by your BSc percentage whatever percentage you got. After that private colleges are going to put the merit list and after that you will get the admission in that like few uh, colleges fix their merit list up to 80%, few are fixing up to 85%. After that if you are not uh, fitting in, into their merit list you can give the interest test. Every university, private university or government universities are conducting their entrance test and by giving those entrance tests, by clearing those entrance tests, you can get admission in that particular course. Special entrance tests are not there, particular universities are conducting entrance tests for that. Some of the important MSc Biochemistry entrance exam are BHU PET, this entrance exam is conducted by Banaras Hindu University. That's why they had given BHU. GSAT and JET, Jain entrance exam. 
all these three entrance exams are very important why i have taken these three because main universities are these banaras hindu university conducts a national level yearly entrance exam it is an objective type entrance exam total of 2 hours actually banaras hindu university as its name suggests this university exists in uttar pradesh banaras they are conducting this exam this exam is most probably in offline mode during covid session that was online but usually they are taking it into the offline mode the exam is for 2 hours you have to firstly fill the form for the particular university and then you can give the entrance test second test is of gset gitam institute of science conducts a national level entrance exam it is an objective type exam same exam as bhu is conducting but all of them their criteria for the examination is different different jet jan entrance Entrance test. It is an entrance test conducted by Jain University. Why these three? Again and again, I am saying because these three universities are very important for these courses. Rest in every state, particular university is giving admission in these courses. But main is that Banaras Hindu University. And in their entrance exam, what they are giving? They are checking your aptitude knowledge. Like in one section, they can give you some logical question, logical reasoning question, and in their second section, they will ask you about the particular subject. Particular subject that is biology and chemistry. They are going to ask about all these questions in those particular subjects. Now the question arises: What are the career options when you will do this MSc Biochemistry? What you are going to become? Are you just getting that degree, or different different fields you can choose? So the different fields are. You can go become a research associate, research associate, lab technician, pharmacologist, biochemist, consultant, scientist, assistant professor, clinical trial and drug designer, medical transcriptionist. See, research associate and assistant professors. In research associate, if you want to become, then firstly after MSc you have to do the PhD. That is the different course philosophy in the doctorate of biochemistry that you have to pursue. And if you want to become the assistant professor, then obviously you have to crack the net uh, net exam or uh, I can say different different exams, whatever they are conducting, JAM and NET. You can you have to crack that. Next, if you want to become the lab technician, lab technician it is not like that simple technician you are going to become. You are going to like test each and every drug what whatever chemicals are present in our body that you are going to test in that lab technician course pharmacologist you can become biochemist you can become because in biochemistry we are getting to know about the medicines if someone has done a bsc with biology they have read that medicinal biology medicinal chemistry both subjects exist in which we are going to study about different different medicines that's why you can become biochemist also clinical trial and drug designer different different drugs we can also make by doing this course drugs is not like that drugs which we are using in the different form the drugs which are helpful for the body that we can make and medical transcriptionist also we can do next is how much salary you are going to get after getting this degree it depends on your salary it depends on your experience it depends on your caliber what kind of work you are going to do all things depend on you only so if you have experience of only one year then salary per annum means whole year your salary full year rupees 5 lakh if one to three year uh, year experience you are having then per annum your salary will be rupees 8 lakh and more than five year experience you are having then per annum rupees 12 lakh means per month 1 lakh you can earn if you are experienced next thing is what are the top government college from which you can pursue your this degree these are src college the institute of science mumbai government medical college amritsar government trs college reva and diff in different different states also these colleges exist where you can pursue your degree and private colleges exist everywhere now last and foremost thing you have chosen that okay i am going to pursue this degree you have decided that okay i have taken the biology i have taken the chemistry subject in my master bsc degree and in 12th also i have taken this degree so i can easily do this biochemistry no 
for each and every field you require particular skills if you have those skills then only you should follow that path you should follow that field otherwise no need to follow that field so important skills which i am going to share with you are first thing is management skills why management skills because if you are going to be like a chemist or if you are become to be going to be like a researcher then at that place you have to manage all the things your thesis the students who will work under you the people who will work under you you have to handle them second thing is passionate passion is important in every field whatever work you are doing in that field if you are not passionate then you cannot do that work problem solving skills of course problem solving skills are important why because sometimes it happens when you had prepared a drug or i can say you had prepared a medicine but this medicine has not worked on that particular people this medicine is not working for that particular disease then you have to solve that problem that's why that problem solving skill is also important for you then observer because you are going to be the researcher you are going to be the assistant professor you are going to be the drug designer then you should have that much capability that the person who are working under you they can observe each and everything clearly next you should be calm you should be composed you should be the good advisor you should be dedicated to your work because if any chemical any even a little little point 1 ml amount of chemical if you put wrong in the solution that can cause a disaster so that's why that field is very 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 important and you should be very aware about this because a single reaction can cause a lot of bad things in human body next is you should be patient as because calm composed patient you are you should be rational rational in the sense that you should be logical you have to use your brain logically not in everything you cannot put your strength your physical strength no in few things you have to use your brain also your communication skills should be good because you have to meet a lot of people like different different companies are also there which will going to purchase your medicines whichever you are making so your communication skills also should be good why because if you want to sell your product then you should take that person who is talking to you with confidence that's why your communication skill should be important you should be understandable because you should understand the problem of the person who is going to purchase the things from you who is going to work under you who is going to like every disease you should know about each and everything next is decision making skills now sometimes it happen that anything can be costly it is out of your budget but that thing is very important for that particular disease then you have to take the decision strong decision and for that your mind should be in center if you have all these skills then you should definitely follow this field and this field is nowadays the demand of this field is increasing a lot because two courses together they are giving you biology and chemistry so if you are interested then you should definitely follow this field i hope this video is going to be very helpful for you and definitely you will think about this field also so thank you have a nice day